2021 KCSE Mathematics Paper 2 Question number 7 The figure below represents a prism A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H uh, That is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H That is a trapezium of length 6 uh, That is uh, of length 6 So this is the length uh, which is 6 So this means that this one is also 6 This is 6 and this is 6 uh, the cross section BCFG that is BCFG of the prism is a trapezium uh, GF is 11 uh, that is 11 centimeters uh, we have uh, BC is 8 we have uh, this is BC uh, BC so this is 8 and we have uh, BG is 5 uh, BG where is B BG so this is 5 cm uh, just like AH uh, angle A uh, go G F C uh, this angle here is 90 and is equals to B C F and this angle is 90 so that is what the information game calculate correct to one decimal place uh, the angle between the line F A this is F A uh, so we can uh, can draw the line FA uh, that is our FA and uh, the plane uh, B C B F G that is G F E H uh, so what we can do here is uh, let's first of all uh, represent this is a plane where we are supposed to to get the the angle between the line uh, F A so that is a plane just uh, to make it clear then we need to draw uh, the angle between uh, F A the angle between F A and the plane B G F that in G F E H is the angle between the plane A the between F A and its projection its projection is that line there so we can say if we draw that then uh, we can be able to get the the projection uh, of this line we can draw a line there and uh, another line there so this is a projection uh, therefore what we are required to find is this angle here theta uh, from there uh, what uh, we need is uh, we need this a a f and the line at the base here so what we do is uh, first of all we need this since this is eight uh, this is three centimeter so that uh, and that is eight so that you add it add up he h e add up to uh, f 11 so what we do here, we can let's call this height. We can say height is equals to the square root of five squared minus three squared is equals to uh, this is twenty five uh, minus nine is equals to square root of sixteen is equals to four. This means that this is four. Uh, with that. Uh, we know that uh, if uh, since we know this line here is 6 and this is uh, here it is 8 uh, let me show you with uh, another line there uh, we know that this line here is 6 and this line here is 8 so we can be able to get this this side here uh, which we can call uh, let's say this is uh, M uh, so we say FM is equals to since this angle here is 90 uh, so it is a square root of uh, 6 squared uh, plus 8 squared so this is equals the square root of 36 plus 64 is equals to the square root of 100 which is equals to 10 so this side here it is 10 centimeter now we have this side uh, that is fm and aam so we can get this angle by using the tangent so we say tangent of theta is equals to uh, it is uh, the opposite which is 4 divided by the 
had adjacent which is 10 then that should give us 2 over 5 so tan inverse of 2 over 5 I uh, use your calculator uh, this one and uh, then you, you just say inverse uh, tan 2 over 5 and that is giving me uh, so theta is equal to 21.8 uh, degrees so the angle between the the the, the line af and the plane a b f e h is 28 degrees and so that's how you do that you did this in uh, in form 4 uh, the topic uh, that is uh, uh, three dimension this is where you cover that so if you covered if you understood that topic then this should be easier for you the only trick here is to get this point here the, the, the line of projection and to be able to use the measurements that have been given uh, so that uh, you are able to get the angle